It's awfully considerate of you to think of me And I'm most obliged to you for making it clear that I'm not here And I never knew the moon could be so blue And I never knew the moon could be so blue And I'm grateful that you threw away my old shoes And bought me here instead Hey everyone, welcome to MT Guitar and to another edition of Pink Floyd Friday. Today we're doing Jug Band Blues, which is the last Sid Barrett original to be published by Pink Floyd. It's also the only song that Sid wrote to appear on A Saucer Full of Secrets, which is the second Pink Floyd album. So quite a change from the first album where Sid wrote all the songs. Uh, this was recorded in late 67 before Gilmore joined the band. But uh, there was already quite a division between Barrett and the band. Uh, you know, Sid had wanted this to be a single, as did their manager, Peter Jenner. But the rest of the band voted against it, as did their producer, Norman Smith. Um, you know, and this is around the time that Sid also wrote Vegetable Man and Scream Thy Last Scream. And the rest of the members didn't want to record those songs. So kind of a, a rough time uh, for Sid and the band. So this song has a ton of interesting stuff going on rhythmically. It's, it's really fascinating. The first measure is in 5-8, which is very uncommon. It's softly considerate of you to think of... So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then it goes to 6-8 for a bit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, right? Now it goes into 4-4. Four, four. Never knew the moon. Then there's a measure of 7-8 when he says, Brought me here instead dressed in red. That would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1. <laughs> and then uh, here, back to 6-8 for just a brief second. And then he goes into 4-4 four, four and doubles the tempo. I don't care. This is just a quarter note pulse all of a sudden. 1, 2, 3, 4. In a swing rhythm. <laughs> So it's like a diff whole different time feel there. And we're in a different key all of a sudden. We're in D. So the song starts in C, quite, you know, very clearly in C. But when he goes, when he goes to F to G to A, it seems like, are we in A here? But then it changes again. And he goes B minor to F sharp major here to the new section now very deep. It's like four chord, one, five, one. There was a Salvation Army that was brought in for this recording and another dispute during this recording. Sid had wanted uh, them to play whatever they wanted regardless of the band, regardless of the key. Norman Smith, the producer, said no, we, we need to have actual parts. So they they did both and mainly you hear the, the Norman Smith preference where there's parts, you know, that kind of 
kind of thing. But then during the freak out session when, you know, when it's just uh, mayhem, so to speak, then you hear the Salvation Army doing the more random stuff that Sid had wanted. So there'll be a tab for this on the Patreon at the $2 level. And I really appreciate you checking that out. Also, subscribing and hitting the bell icon really helps the channel. So thanks for all that and for all your support as always. So let's jump on in and get this going. Okay, so uh, I've already mentioned a few of these rhythm oddities, but we're going to start from the beginning here. And we have C for five beats. Five eight is five eighth note beats. And what you really should do is keep in mind the lyrics and melody. That's going to make this a lot easier. So I'll be kind of humming along so that, you know, you can keep track with where the song is at. It's awfully considerate of you to think. Okay, and most of this is down. And you could even start with just down just to get going on the song. And then, you know, add, add the up strums. But uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's five beats of C, six eighth note beats of A minor. And then it's in six, eight for the next three bars back and forth from C to A minor back to C. So that whole first line, ready? One, two, I'll count to, to three. One, two, three. Awfully considerate of you to think of me here. And I, one, two, three, four, five, six, A minor, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? All right, five, eight, and six, eight down. <laughs> uh, let's go to four, four now, the next line. And that's when, uh, and I never knew the moon could be so big. Okay, all right, so the next line here is 4-4 four, four for the first three bars. So it's A minor to C back and forth. And I never knew the moon could be so big. And the string pattern is like down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, twice. Third time, A minor for three beats and C for a beat. So, uh... And I'm grateful that you threw away my old shoes and... So kind of tricky there. And I'm grateful that you threw away my old shoes and... Okay. Then, four eighth note beats of F. Uh, brought me here in... And then G for three beats. Stead dressed in... And then A. Red. For six beats. So that's a bar of seven four with if you combine F and G. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. Down, up, down, up on the A. But the F and G you can just go down. So that whole second line, I'll kind of sing and count at the same time. Here we go. And I never knew the moon could be so big. One, two, three, four. Great. So, are you happy you've decided to learn this song yet? <laughs> it's tricky, for sure. So, I think it's been clear so far, though. So, let's keep moving on. All right, so then the pre-chorus, we're going to do B minor, and we're in 6-8. One, very F sharp minor. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, B minor, then F sharp major for six beats. So, it's, it's a bar of 9-8, although you could consider it a bar of three, three, eight, and then six, eight. So that whole line would be, and I'm one, two, three, one, two, three, B minor, F sharp, three, four, five, six. Okay, takes us to the chorus. Now for the chorus, we're in a whole different feel. We're doing a shuffle or a swing. So that would be two beats of G. And now the beats, the quarter note beats are actually fast. It's 120. One, two, D, then A, then D. Down, 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 A, two, D. Okay. Then F for uh, a bar. One, two, three, four, A for a bar. Repeat. F, then two, A. Now we have a five bar cool down. Uh, so after F to A twice. F 
that's it was the second time. Winter starting here, five bars. Three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four. Kind of fade out a little bit. Five, two, three, four. Then the Salvation Army comes in for the jug band section. And this is the same as the chorus where, you know, same chord progression as I don't care. But now, instead of words, we just have the jug band. So, you could just do that for the entire time. And it's, it's, it's that whole loop four times. But if you want to throw in the jug band part, okay, that would be uh, fifth, fourth, third, third, like a G, first four strings of a G bar chord. Then second fret, then third fret, second, fourth. Then second fret, fourth, third, second string, fifth fret, third fret, second fret, fourth fret. But I'm just totally um, sort of guesstimating between all of it because really it never it never repeats. So the jug band is is one time it goes right, and then again does this. It's just always changing. So this is kind of a nice balance between it all. But really, you know, no need to make that too complicated. You could just strum these chords, then it stops on the D chord. La 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 la, and that's when Sid is singing. La 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 la. la. And then there's a freak out, so to speak, and the electric guitar goes up to 13 to 14, hammer on, pull off, trill. After a while, he starts doing this fifth fret, second string to open first string. And then the tape cuts, right? Tape literally cuts. Then we have strumming on C, six beats, A minor, six beats. C six beats. Now when he starts singing, um, the C is in green. It goes back and forth each beat. A minor C, A minor C, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Which is really interesting because it was going to be, uh, if he had continued the pattern, it would have been, and the C isn't green, landing on a C chord. But now because he switched it enough times, then he lands on an A minor. So really interesting stuff. So C, A minor, C, and then the lyrics start on A minor, C, A minor, C, A minor. And I love the A minor. And, what, and now when he says, what is a dream? And what exactly? We go to A major and repeat. And what exactly? is a joke and you end on a okay so i kind of raced through it because really the more you think about this stuff the actually the harder it can get what you want to do is you want to match the lyrics with the chords so um and the time signature can kind of go in line with the lyrics and the melody so i have the chord sheet on the patreon to tell you when that happens uh, beyond the tab too so check that out if you'd like and enjoy all right, well done, everybody. Definitely a, uh, a lot to tackle rhythmically, but good job. And uh, remember to subscribe, hit the bell icon, and we'll see you next lesson.